This week on Street Rotting American Style, we're off to Scranton, Kansas, population 710. Today we'll take a look at a 1933 Ford Coupe, a 37 Chevy Coupe, a 63 Ford Fairlane, and a 1950 Olds Rocket 88. These are all coming up next on Street Rotting American Style. Support for Street Rotting American Style is provided in part by BG Products Incorporated. BG Products Incorporated is dedicated to making vehicles last longer and perform better in the meantime. In shops all over the world, BG Products serves the driving public with innovative products and proven programs of automotive maintenance. More information can be found at bgfindashop.com. And Red Radio plays your favorite oldies, great oldies of the 50s, 60s, and early 70s. Great oldies from Elvis, Chuck Berry, the Skyliners, and many more. Nothing but the greatest music ever laid down on disc. Red Radio is online all the time at renradio.net. Good times, great oldies. W-R-E-N. They make you look, dream, and sometimes even wish. These are street rods built or just owned by those who have the same passion. My name is David Wolf, and along with Simon Cormick and Patricia Brown, we travel to admire these passions. These are works of art and are designed with the personality and the ingenuity of the owner in mind. Built in garages, barns, and even under shade trees in communities all across this great land of ours. This is more than just a hobby. This is an addiction. This is Street Rotting American Style. Cy, we're yeah. heading to Scranton, Kansas today. Dude, that's my hometown. Is it really? Yeah, I went to high school there. Yeah? Met my wife there. Really? Yeah. Okay, you're not going to get emotional on me, are you? I'll try not to. Okay. This evening we are in Scranton, Kansas, and I am with Dave Collins. Dave, tell me, why are we having a car show tonight? Well, about three years ago, uh, they asked me to put on something for a Friday night, and everybody likes a car show, so okay. decided to do that. And it's all for the uh, fun in the park they have every third weekend of June. Okay, so it's a whole weekend event. Yes. Yes, but the car show's just tonight. Yeah, just tonight. Okay, and why did they ask you to do it? Out of all the people in Scranton, why did they ask you? I'm a car guy. You're a car guy? <laughs> <laughs> Are you the only car guy in Scranton? <laughs> no, but I'm pretty much the best known car guy. Yeah, you're, you're on the best car guy, right? Yeah, right. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's really exciting. I see tons of cars coming out. We cannot wait to look at them, pick our favorite cars, so stay tuned. All right, we got tons of hot rods here. I've been looking around all afternoon trying to find something, and it's too hard. There's too much to choose from. I'm walking by this beast, and I gotta stop because this thing is sweet, and you gotta see it. And I got its owner right here. This is Daryl. Daryl, tell us what we're looking at, man. 37 Chevy Coupe. In 1937, Cy Young was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame. The first broadcast of the soap opera Guiding Light was on NBC Radio and spinach growers of Crystal City, Texas erected a statue of Popeye. This is your first hot rod? Yep. How long have you had it, man? 50 years. Whoa, 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 whoa. You've had this thing for 50 years? 1961. That's awesome. Yep. Did it always look like this? Saved it, no, no. You saved it? Saved the old tin, yeah. So it's yep. all steel? All steel. Did you do all the work yourself, man? Well, a lot of it. I had a lot of help, too. Paint and upholstering was not me, but a lot of the underneath work was me. This is just a 37 of all the cars you could pick from. You wanted a 37. Yes. 50 yeah. years ago. Yeah. Why? Yeah. I saw it the first time I saw it. I told my wife I got to have that car. It's like the lines. Yeah. It's something yeah. about it, man. Yeah. This yeah. thing is legit. It was a major expense, $300 then. You spent $300 for this thing. Yes. All right, now let's say you and me are going to work out a deal, dude. Oh. I'm gonna pull out some cash out of my pocket. What's how many how many bills is it gonna take to get this uh, sucker free? I'll tell you when to quit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, all right. So you got this thing 50 some years ago. Yep. It was yes, it your high school hot rod? No, no. After high school, major purchase after I got out of the army. So it's, you did a good job, man. Thanks. Now what I, what drew me to this is it's it's. It's an old school street rod. It is. You didn't go with the chrome wheels like everybody else does. Why not? No, I just like the plain Jane sleeper look. It is a sleeper. Yeah. Tell me what's under the hood, man. Blown 454 Chevy. A blown 54 Chevy. Yep. So I imagine you'd like to get sideways in it? Oh no, just a straight line. 
just cruising. So is it geared high, geared low? Geared is high. it geared, geared to get up? Geared high, 70 or 80 is easy. So it'll cruise down the highway real nice. Yes, it will. Does your wife ever drive? No. Why not? Won't even start it. Well, she can go to the grocery store, man, get there in no she, time. She can't, but no, she doesn't. I thought she built it for her so she could have a grocery <laughs> get her. No, no, no. Tell me about some stories, man. You guys had this thing for a while. We have. What's the best memory in this thing? Longest trip was Minneapolis, St. Paul, 1,300 miles. 1,300 miles. The worst experience was a cat liked to sleep on the motor. A what? A cat liked to sleep on the motor, so we put towels in the exhaust so it couldn't get up in there. A cat liked to sleep on the motor after it was all warmed up? It did slept in there, and I forgot the towels, and it caught on fire. The house caught on fire? The with car. The, the, the car caught on fire. <laughs> it makes, <laughs> makes more sense since yeah. we're talking about cars and it's a yeah, car show. Yeah. So, burn a couple of wires, but didn't burn them. Yeah, it, not, not too much major damage. No. How, how the cat fare? No, it was out of there. The it, cat it, it, yeah, there. It, it vacates when we get in it, but it, that was a favorite resting place for the whole thing. And, that's cool, man. Yeah. Now I yeah. noticed you did something. You've got a lot of guys, you know, they'll uh, they'll go in and they'll French in the taillights on these things. Mm -hmm. You left it all pretty much stock, yeah. like we said, the sleeper look, but I didn't yeah. notice you Frenched in the antenna. Yeah, that's the only thing that we, we changed. Well, man, you've been hot rodding for a long time, mm -hmm. and I've heard from a guy around here that you inspired him to build his hot rod, and I think yeah. that's really cool, yeah, man, because yeah, yeah. that just keeps the tradition going from the guys from generation to generation, yes. keep the tradition alive, and that's awesome, that's man. That's great. Yeah. There are a lot of these guys, they'll, they'll put the drop spindles on the front end. You got drops on the front? No, no. Because you got the rubber rake with... Stock Mustang, too. Just stock Mustang, too. It's got a beautiful stance, man. This Thanks. thing looks sharp. Lowering blocks in the back. Lowering in the back. Yep. It's yes. awesome, dude. Thanks. I, uh, I got one more question for you. What's that? Let's hear this bad boy. I hope it'll start. Hey, it'll start. <laughs> Fire it up. <laughs> Okay, Charlene, we have some questions for you. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, we're gonna take a very scientific poll here. All right, so no, no pressure at all, right? Okay. okay, okay. I need you to rank the following car movies in order of your preference. Okay. Okay, are you ready? Yep. First one is American Graffiti, Gone in 60 Seconds, Smokey and the Bandit, and Christine. What would be your first? Gone in 60 Seconds. Yeah, that's the best one, I know. Mm -hmm. What's second? Christine. Christine. Mm -hmm. Smokey and the Bandit Smoking and then American Graffiti. Okay, have you actually seen American Graffiti? Nope. Nope. So that's why it's last. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Gordon, are you ready? We're going to get some of your top favorites here. We need you to rank them for us. Can you do that? All right. All right, here we go. Ranking the favorite car movies, one through four. We've got American Graffiti, Gone in 60 Seconds, Smokey and the Bandit, and a little scary Christine. Which one? I'll take Gone in 60 Seconds. Is your number one? Number one. Okay, what's two? Uh, American Graffiti. Uh-huh. Smokey and the Bandit. Mm hmm And Christine. Christine. Have you seen Christine? Yeah. Yeah, not much for the scary movies. No. Yeah, no. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I need you to rank the following car movies for me. All right. All right. Are you ready? We got American Graffiti, Gone in 60 Seconds, Smokey and the Bandit, and Christine. Gone in 60 Seconds. Number one. Mm -hmm. Sounds like it's kind of a popular one. Mm -hmm. What's number two? Uh, next one would be Smokey and the Bandit. Okay. All right. And then we're going to go with Christine. Ah, American and, Graffiti pulling up the end there. Yes. Huh. American Graffiti, Gone in 60 Seconds, Smokey and the Bandit, and Christine. What's your number one? Gone in 60 Seconds. Yeah, that's popular. Mm -hmm. Smokey and the Bandit. Smokey and the Bandit. Mm -hmm. American Graffiti. Mm hmm. And the. One car. Christine. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Christine, have you seen it? Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> so it yeah. comes in last. It's not very good. I didn't like it. It's not a street rod, but Vicky's fair lane is just clean and sweet, and it proves that ladies love cars too. Coming up next on Street Rodding American Style. Vicky, I know it's not a street rod. But I really like this car. Thank you. Tell me exactly what we're looking at here. This is a 1963 Ford Fairlane. In 1963, an artificial heart was implanted in a human for the first time. The first prototype Learjet takes off, and Johnny Depp was born. 63. 63. Now, you didn't buy us brand new. No, but my grandparents did. I heard the rumor. So this thing has been in your family for a long, Correct. long time. 
long time. Yeah, they bought it so they could come see the new grandbaby. New grandbaby? Me. You? <laughs> yes. Are you the same age as this car? Yes. Are you, I, we won't go, don't carry the one on me. But here we are, so this thing is really sentimental to you. Yes, it, because it's always been in the family. It's always been in the farm. This is really in good condition. What yes. has it always been in this condition? Yes. My this paint job's perfect. Yes, my grandparents lived through the depression. So they bought the best they could at the time, right. and then you maintained them. And so I lost my grandfather in 01, but up until that time, every six months, he'd have the local mechanic come and get it, take it down, do whatever needed wow. to be done. And then it didn't get drove a lot there at the end because it's health, right. but yeah, it's been maintained. How many miles on this? Just a little over 46,000 miles. 46, original? Original. It hasn't been turned over? No. This is your car? Yes. Does your husband try to take over or not? Uh, no, he. I let him drive. It's a three-speed on the column, and I uh, don't shift quite as well as he does, so he drives it more than I do. Interior-wise also, mint condition, or has it been restored? That has been restored. Has been restored. My, original condition, though? Original fabric, yes. Okay. My grandfather would drive it to the local co-op and throw a bale of hay in the back seat. <laughs> Did he really? Yes. So the interior was really rough when I inherited it. But um, the company that did it for me put it back with the exact same fabric yeah. and just cleaned it up. It was a farm vehicle. It was. It was. It's kind of is it kind of shame to know that it was treated like that, or is it more of the fun history behind the car? To me, it's the history. You don't see these cars. Um, nobody kept the family car. Right. And so I'm I'm proud of that because there isn't a lot of fair lanes running around that are four doors. Right. When he got this, did he get bare bone essentials or? He got the least amount of things you could put on really? a car. In fact, it still has the factory delete where a radio should have been because my grandfather was like, why do I want a radio <laughs> in my car? However, he did spend the extra 10 bucks and got the front seat belts. So he's got safety, yes. but just not the comforts of radio. Correct. And that was no big deal. Yeah. Back then, I mean, he probably didn't listen to the jam or Metallica back well, then. Well, no, it was the farm report. Yeah, see, that's all he cared about, because <laughs> yeah. this was hauling hay. Yes. So what kind of engine does this have in it? It has a 260. Which, 260? Right. We didn't realize how rare those were until we started showing them, because they only made the 260 for about two or three years. Do you cruise very much with this thing? No. <laughs> Why not? Because of its low miles. I want to keep it that way. It took my husband and I two years to put 1,000 miles on it. So why not get it out there and enjoy? Is it more fun well, just to have people come look at it? We do take it out to shows and cruises, right. but we don't take it just for a Sunday drive. Why not? I keep asking why not, <laughs> because to me that's what's so fun about this. Well, again, it's because of the stick shift yeah. and the low mileage, it's not a cruising car, okay. really. Once you get out on the highway, she'll kind of straighten out, lower yeah, down, yeah, and yeah. purrs as she goes down the highway. She likes to be out on the highway. So knowing you already have low mileage on this, you want to keep it low mileage yes. as low as you can. Yes. But then when it starts getting high mileage, well then who cares when we drive it? Well, if I'm still around that long, if it takes two years to do a thousand miles, that's going to take a while to me to uh. get a lot of miles. So you're going to hang on to it. Yes. Are you going to pass it down to your kids? Yes. That's I hope the idea. to do that, yes. Well, Vicki, love the car. Can you do me a favor? Can we hear this bad boy? I will try. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so now we have some car songs. Okay. All right, same thing, rank one through four. I Can't Drive 55. You know who sings that? Nope. Okay, Sammy Hagar. Okay. Have you heard it? Nope. Okay, might be your fourth. Okay. <laughs> Next one is Lowrider from War. Okay. All right. Pink Cadillac, a little Bruce Springsteen, and the little Deuce Coops and Beach Boys. Okay. Um, what was the second song? Uh, the Low Rider. War. Okay, that's my mm -hmm. favorite. Number one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what was the last one you said? The little Deuce Coops and Beach Boys. That's my second. Okay. And then the third one? We've got I Can't Drive 55 or the Pink Cadillac. Um, I don't know either of those, nope. so mm -hmm. three, four. Yeah, tie for <laughs> last, three. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> little Deuce Coops. Number, number one. one. Mm hmm. And, By uh, far? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Low rider. Uh huh. Uh, we well, I can't drive 55 or pink Cadillac. I can't drive 55 and pink Cadillac last. Pink Cadillac. You don't not a fan of Bruce Springsteen? No. Not so much. Not as much as the Beach Boys, obviously. Right. right. <laughs> I can't drive 55. Throwing some Sammy Hagar down. A little Low Rider for more. Pink Cadillac, Springsteen, Lil Deuce Scoops, and Beach Boys. In exactly that order. I In think. exactly, really? <laughs> Funny how that works, huh? Sammy Hagar. Mm-hmm. Number one. What's the second one? Uh, the Rider. More. Yeah. Two. Mm-hmm. And, and then Springsteen and Beach Boys. I'd say Little Deuce Coop. Little Deuce Coop, and then Pink Cadillac. Last. Bringing up the rear. Yeah. Okay. Do you like that song? 
sorry. No, nah, it's okay. But you have heard it. Yeah, I've heard it. That's good. That's good. <laughs> the definition of fun varies from person to person. In Dave's case, fun is his 33 Ford Coupe and the power it can generate. We have Dave next on Street Routing American Style. Oh my goodness, we're in Scranton. There are a billion sweet street rods here. I don't know what to do, I don't know what to pick from, but I found this majestic beauty. This is its owner, Dave. Dave, please tell us more about this beast. It's a lot of fun, I'll tell you that. It's 1933 Ford, 300 Coupe. In 1933, the first singing telegram was delivered in New York City. President-elect Franklin Roosevelt survived an assassination attempt and the USS Ranger was the first aircraft carrier christened. Blown 350 motor, nitrous oxide. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> You've got a blown 350 with nitrous? Blown 350 with nitrous. Dude, that's gotta be slow. Well, you know, I don't know if it's slow, but sure a lot of fun. <laughs> I, I wanna know, I mean, do you ever get sideways in this thing? I think it's sideways and crooked, a little bit of everything. You ever been pulled over? Well, you know, I have once, but but they didn't say anything other they just want to look at the car. I hear that know? a lot, they just want to yeah. look at the car. That's yeah. what's awesome about street running. Man, yeah. Everybody appreciates it, even the cops. A lot of guys like the coupes. A lot of guys like this style. Everybody's after it. It's a hot car, uh -huh. but you got the blower on there, man. What made you go with the blower out? Well, just cool. It's the old, old street rod, hot rod look. You know, no cover on motor. Everything's out, hanging out. It's gotta be bad, cool looking. It is know? bad and cool yeah. looking. That's what I'm going for. Is it a steel car? Well, no, it's a glass car. It's probably made by uh, Redneck. Redneck bodies? Uh, redneck fiberglass, uh-huh, yeah. So, now, did you build it yourself? I did most of the work, yeah. Most, you know, I didn't do the upholstery work and stuff like that, but did most of the mechanical work and paint work and all that kind of stuff. How long have you had it? About 11 years. Why but, the 33? Everybody goes for the 32. Well, yeah, well, you know, it's a, I just 33, I like the curve of the 33, you know, the coupe, that kind of stuff. I don't know why, I just, uh, and just like you just said, everybody's got a 32. Right. So I want to go to a 33. I know she went with the high boy. Why not channel it like everybody else? I just like the high boy look. The high boy look gives that old nostalgia drag car touch type look, you know. Was that a quick decision? Oh, no, not really, you know. What is your hardest decision you have to make when you're coming across this? What, what direction are we gonna go here? Oh, well, colors was a big thing, you know, trying to get out the, the color scheme, that kind of stuff. Well, you did a good job, man. Well, so you, you don't see too many of this color. It's pretty slick. No, you don't, yeah. And then, of course, the upholstery, I wanted the upholstery to match. I didn't want just the... Well, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, Holy you know, the, the normal tans everybody uses, yeah, or the yeah. browns. I wanted something flashy and cool with the car. So we got the, uh, is that a 871? 671, no, Six, it's a 420 mega blower. A 420 mega, yeah. help me out. A little bit bigger than a 671, not quite as big as an 871. Okay. It's a little bit different. What kind of horses are we getting out of this bad boy? Well, I'm, re I'm running 15% underdriven on the blower. So I'm running about 600 horsepower with a 300 shot of nitrous. That's it? So about 900 horsepower. <laughs> That's weak. Yeah. <laughs> this thing is a beast, man. I'll tell you what. When you're running a blower, don't you have to run lower compression? You should for the street, yeah. I'm running, I'm running seven and a half to one. What happens if you get too high? You just blow up the motor or what? It just runs hot, you know. Do you have any issues? I don't, I'm just, no, it runs 180 year round. How yeah. far did you come today? I came from Topeka, which on the other side of Topeka, so I probably came close to probably 60 miles, probably. Speaking of road trips, man. What's the farthest you've ever taken this thing? That's about all the further I'll go, about 60 miles. Yeah. It's too much money on gas, <laughs> you know. What's your gas mileage? I get probably between uh, six to eight, depending on how you put my foot in. Holy you know? cow, I bought it four. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> can't be too loud. Loud's proud. <laughs> That's loud awesome, proud. Man. Speaking of loud and proud, I got one more question for you. Can we hear this bad boy? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, let's hear it. TV shows, on to TV shows. We've talked about movies and songs, now TV shows. Okay. Dukes of Hazard got that general league going on. Mm -hmm. Knight Rider, Kit oh. Car, Batman, Batmobile, and Speed Racer, the Mach 5. It'd have to be uh, Dukes, uh, Dukes of Hazard. Yeah, that generally number one for you, okay. Knight Rider. Two. And. Got Batmobile. Batmobile around. and then Speed Racer. And then, there you go, in the same order. That... <laughs> Are you cheating? Are you just reading off my yeah, card? <laughs> Dukes mm -hmm. of Hazard is that one? Yeah. Okay. Batman mm -hmm. number two, mm -hmm. Kit number three, and I don't think Speed I, Racer. Yeah, not. A yeah, fan. not four. a fan of that one. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a four. We've got generally some Dukes of Hazard. Okay. Kit, you know, Knight Rider. Right, uh huh. Batmobile, Batman, and Mach Five, Speed Racer. What's your one? Go with Mach Five. Okay, Mach Five is number one. And. Uh, the Batmobile Bat, kit. Batmobile. Uh huh. Two. And uh, 
General Lee. And then and Knight Rider Knight last, Rider coming last. in the yeah. end, yeah. Okay, now we have car TV shows. All right, last last um, segment here. We have General Lee, Dukes of Hazard, The Kit, all time Knight Rider there. Batmobile, can't get better than Batman. And Mach 5, Speed Racer, what's your one? That order. In, in that order? <laughs> I don't know. Are you copping out on my, is it really that order? I think so. Generally one, kick two, Batmobile three, Mach 5? Yeah. Four. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much for helping us out with our very scientific poll. Thank you. In a marriage, decisions should be made equally. But when it comes to power, Dolores has the edge with her 1950 Olds Rocket 88. It is sweet. And it's next on Street Rotting, American Style. Doris, what are we looking at here? The 1950-88 Rocket, or Rocket 88. In 1950, Harry Truman was president. The Korean War begins, and Dennis the Menace comic strip was created. How long have you owned this car? Uh, two years. Two years. Now, this is your car or your husband's car or both? This is my car. This is your car. Does he have a car at all? He has a 51 Rocket 88. Really? So what's the difference between his car and your car? His car is original, total original. Right. It's a two-door sedan. Uh, Mine's a modified 50 two-door hardtop. Two-door hardtop. I like the two-door hardtop better, I think. I do, too. Yeah, I, yeah it's, it's awesome. It really gets cool. Yeah. It's more tension. Ah, and as a lady, you want the more attention coming Not at really. you. Oh, come on, you got just a little bit? <laughs> just a little. Okay, that's all I want to hear. That's all I want to hear. <laughs> just that much. <laughs> what I also like about it is the pinstriping on this. It is so subtle. You don't even see it until you get close to it. But the blue and the black, and I see, what is that decal? It's a flying eyeball. Flying eyeball on here. But if you take the pinstriping all the way to the back, what does it turn into? A rocket. Why is there a rocket on that end of that pinstriping? Because it's a Rocket 88. Doggone right it is. This is so cool. Now, who has more power? Your car or his car? My car. It makes sense. I mean, you have more power than he has, right? right. I mean, it, you know, who... The motor in this and is a 62 Oldsmobile motor. His is a 51 Oldsmobile. Oh, see? So now, can you kind of lord it over and say, baby, I can beat you any day. I don't do that because I don't race. You don't race it? You've nope. never raced this nope. thing at all? No. Nope. Have you ever put your foot down at all on nope. this thing? Then we can turn the tires over. I drive it. Well, yeah, but I don't talk about just draw, turning them over. I mean, turning them over. No. No. Tempted at all? No. Okay, well, that's all right. Because I'm a docile driver. Are you a docile? <laughs> so what's your definition of a docile driver? I don't want to bang it up. Okay, I can see why. It's immaculate. It's too hard to replace. Do you get very many comments on the wheels and tires on this thing? Not really that much. People ask me, where'd you get those white walls? I love the white walls on this. These are the spinner hub caps. These yes. aren't original to this car. Okay. And on the back wheels, they had to take the spinners off because they wouldn't fit under the fender skirts. The fender skirts. So did it come with the fender skirts or not? Yes. So it came with the fender skirts, but in order to get that fender skirt and use, utilize it, you had to lose the spinners. Yeah, on uh, the back because they're not original. But it's not too bad because you don't see it anyway. Right. Let's go inside also. The interior is really cool. Do you like the interior of this thing or would you change it? I would change it. What would you change it? I would change it to cloth. Would cloth you cloth? cloth? Okay. Now, I'm also noticing that it doesn't have the radio. It's got the delete plate, the radio delete plate. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, those radio delete plates are hard to come by. Where'd you find this thing? He had found it from a, some man he knew, and the man had kept it in his drawer, underwear drawer, for, <laughs> since 1949. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. So the, the delete plate was found in this guy's underwear drawer that he had stored since 1949. 49. Was his underwear about the same age? I have no idea. I, it doesn't hurt to ask. I'm just curious. <laughs> well, Dolores, I love the car. Can you do me a favor? Can I hear this bad boy? So, yeah. what'd you think of my hometown, man? Very cool. Any community like that had to breathe yep. and live street riding. It's very cool. They do. It is, it is. As a matter of fact, I saw you and Patricia doing kind of a scientific survey. Very scientific. On, you know, what'd you come up with? Well, I have the results. One second, please. Drum roll, please. <laughs> awesome. The best car movie. Yes. Tied for number three was Christine no. and American Graffiti. Okay. Oh, yes. they both tied at three. Yeah, tied, for, tied at three. Okay. Tied at three. Tied at three. Number two? Yeah. Guess. Okay. No. Uh, well, Smokey and the Bandit. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So number sweet one. Movie. Awesome movie. Number one was gone in 60 seconds. I believe that would be the one. And most of the original. Yes. For the best song about cars, dude. You ready yes, for this? I'm ready. Ready. Number four was Pink Cadillac. Pink Bruce, Cadillac. Bruce really? Bruce Springsteen. Yep. Yep. Number three. Yes. One of my favorites. Little Deuce Coop by Well, Beach, Beach Boys. Boys. That was yes. number three. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Number three. Number two. I can drive 55. Of course. And who yep, can? Yep. And number one, Low Rider. Uh, yep. See, now that's my favorite, but I didn't think anybody else would like that either. Well, you know, it's, it's a cool song. It's a classic and everything, but yeah. dude, you can't go wrong with Little Deuce No, Coop. no, no. Yeah, yeah. And the best car in a TV series. You right, ready right. for this? Okay. Number four, Mach 5. My Speed Racer. Speed yeah. Racer, Mike. That blew me away. <laughs> I had no idea. Number three, all time favorite of mine, Kit. From yes, Knight Rider. Yeah. Yep. Number two, the Batmobile. I'll see it, I put that number one, but that's okay. That's not a street run. Number one car from TV. Right. General Lee. General Lee. Yes, from Dukes of Hazard. So it was awesome. We had a great time. Of course, that was a very scientific survey, and your results may vary. I know one result that never varies though. What's that? Street rotting is more than just a hobby. It's an addiction. Support for Street Rotting American Style is provided in part by BG Products Incorporated. BG Products Incorporated is dedicated to making vehicles last longer and perform better in the meantime. In shops all over the world, BG Products serves the driving public with innovative products and proven programs of automotive maintenance. More information can be found at bgfindashop.com. And Red Radio plays your favorite oldies, great oldies of the 50s, 60s, and early 70s. Great oldies from Elvis, Chuck Berry, the Skyliners, and many more. Nothing but the greatest music ever laid down on disc. Red Radio is online all the time at redradio.net. Good times, great oldies. W-R-E-N.